Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use advanced filter in Excel. Here I have a data set where I have the dates, I have sales rep names, I have the geography and the sales amount. Now advanced filter can do a lot of things. The first thing that I'll show you is how to extract a list of unique items. So to do that I would first go to data and within data I have the sort and filter group within which I have this icon of advanced. If I click on advanced it opens the advanced filter dialog box where I have all these options. The first option is filter the list in place. Now if I use this option it would filter this list in the existing location in these cells these would be filtered but then that would alter my original data set so there are two options either you extract the list somewhere else using this option which is copy to another location or you copy this data set maybe make another sheet or copy this data set somewhere else and then use the filter the list in place option I always go for copy to another location because it is easier to use and you don't have to create multiple copies of the data and your original data remains intact as well so in this case I would select copy to another location now in list range I would select that column or that range of cells for, for which I want to identify a unique list in this case let's say I want to identify a unique list for all the sales rep names so you can see there are repetitions I have John here and I also have John here I have the repetition in Mike Paul Rachel and every every name so I have selected this column I would use the criteria range would be blank because in this case I really do not have any criteria I'll show you how to use it later in the video but to get a unique list I would leave this blank uh, in copy to location I would give the address of the cell where I want to get this unique list in this case let's say it's h3 and I would say unique records only so I would check this box and now when I hit ok you can see it instantly gives me the name of all these sales rep and these are unique names so there is no repetition in this case now this is how you can use advanced filter if you have one single column and you want to extract the unique list but what if you want to extract a unique list for multiple columns so in that case let me clear this and do this thing again so I would go to data advanced and within advanced I would say copy to another location my data here list range would be these two columns because now I want to extract unique uh, combinations of these records so for example if John India and John India is there twice then I only want one record to get filtered in criteria range I would leave it empty apply to would be h3 and I would say unique records only and now when I hit ok instantly it would give me all the unique records and you can see uh, these are all the records except two because there are two repetitions. in this case maybe it's John India and then there is Rachel US so these records occur only once in this list and it gives me a filtered list of all the unique items now let me again delete it uh, so you can quickly use advanced filter to get a unique list but there is much more that you can do using advanced filter uh, so for example here let me show you how you can use various criteria to extract or to filter records so the first thing that I would do is I would copy these headers and I would paste it somewhere else and the reason I'm doing it because now I would ex I would construct my criteria somewhere else so here I have copied all the headers and within these cells let me give it a border here I would give the criteria so for example my criteria is I would want to filter all the records for John so in this case I would use this as my criteria again to show you how it works uh, and let's see I would extract the records here in uh, L3 so I would go to data I would go to advanced and here I would say copy to another location the list range would be this entire data set including the headers make sure you include headers because now we would use these headers in the criteria as well in criteria range we would select these and what it does is it now identifies that this is my data range this is my criteria where the criteria is John since all these are empty these are not considered as criteria you can also select one single uh, so you can also only select say sales rep John it would also work but in case you have multiple criteria or you have multiple say geography as well then it's a good idea to select this entire thing 
and I would say copy to L3 and here again maybe unique records only or maybe you can leave it out if you want all the records and when I click OK it instantly give me these records here and you can see there are two records for John uh, 4th uh, January and 14th April and you can see here you can tally it with this list one is this and the another one is this so what it had it has done is it has taken this criteria with these headers it knows that within sales rep there was this name John so it extracts all the records for John but what if you don't want it for John so let me delete these now say I want to have multiple criteria so I want to have this for say Rachel and the geography should be US so I want to extract all the records where the sales rep is Rachel and the geography is US so you, you can consider this to be an AND condition both this has to be true uh, Ra sales rep name has to be Rachel and geography has to be uh, US so now again the same thing I would go to data advanced here I would say copy to another location this would be my data range my criteria range would be this and I would copy it to again L3 and as soon as I hit OK you can see it has given me all these records where the sales rep is Rachel and the geography is the US now let me delete it so this is the condition where we treated it as an AND condition where the sales rep should be this AND geography should be this but what if you want a condition where the sales rep could be either Rachel or maybe say Joe so if that is the case then we would have another row where we would have the criteria so you can see if it's an AND condition uh, the conditions would be in the same row Rachel and US but if it is say Rachel or Joe then it would be in a different row so if we use this as the criteria then it would take the condition as either Rachel or Joe and if any of the criteria is met then it would extract that record let me show you how it's done I would go to data advanced and here again copy to another location my list range remains the same my criteria range changes a bit because I would now include this additional row and copy to location would be L3 and now when I hit OK it instantly gives me these results where the sales rep is Joe or Rachel so you can see our in this data set there are five records where the sales rep is either Rachel or Joe so this is how you can use uh, the OR condition at an advanced filter now let me also show you how to use wildcard characters let's say I want to extract the records for all those sales rep whose name begin with the alphabet J so to do that I would create a criteria and that criteria would be J asterisk or the star sign and asterisk in Excel represents any number of characters which means that here in this case it means any name that begins with J and can have any number of characters after it so with this criteria let me show you how advanced filter works I would go to data advanced and here I would say copy to another location within list range this is my list range uh, my criteria range here would be this uh, and I would copy it to another location which is again say L3 and now when I hit OK it instantly gives me all the records for John and Joe because these are the only two uh, sales rep whose name begins with a J so this is how you can construct uh, a criteria which uses wildcard if you're not very sure about uh, the the name or the full name uh, similarly you can also construct criteria for the sales part here so in this case let's say I want to get all the sales records uh, for any sales rep whose name begins with J and the sales value is more than 20,000 so if that is the case then I would construct a criteria something like this I would not simply write 20,000 I would write greater than 20,000 so this is the criteria and now let's see how to use advanced filter to get all the records matching this criteria I would delete this again I would go to advanced here this remains my list range here so I would copy to another location my list range remains this data set uh, my criteria range is this and I would copy to L3 again and when I hit OK you can see that now I have four records earlier if you remember when we used only this criteria we had five records but now we have four records for all the sales rep whose name begin with J 
and the sales value is more than 20,000. So you can use criteria which are either numeric or alphanumeric or they are pure text strings. You can create any kind of criteria including wildcard characters and use it in advanced filter to extract a list based on those criteria. So this is how you can use advanced filter in Excel. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.